Hi all and welcome back to part 2 of my let's play of Sea of Stars. We are in Moon Cradle, picking up where we left off in the last part. And as in the last part, I will only be reading dialogue and information and nothing aside from that. Just a bunch of old books. Just a bunch of old books. Just a bunch of old books. Villager. Oh, there you are. Rain finally decided that you were ready. A rack filled with wooden training weapons. A rack filled with wooden training weapons. I think this bed is for me. Let's find yours. Go to sleep? Yes. Next morning in the training room. Brewgabes, good morning, fellas. Brewgabes! So, you'll be our trainer? I wish. Berlina and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first day special. Are you ready for training? You bet. That's what I like to hear. I reckon these should be well suited for the two of you. Sail received training sword. Valer received training staff. Alright, let's get to work. You got this, Valer. Don't give up now. Never. Come on, Zay. Keep up. I can't do this. Ninety nine, one hundred. That's it for today, you did great. Whew. That was a lot. Be free to take a break. 
Lena will see you on the terrace whenever you're ready. Alina is ready to see you. She's waiting just outside of the academy's entrance. Oh, there you are. Ready to learn magic? It should feel as if something was scratching an itch far away from you. You must focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. I think it's working! Hey! Startled me! I almost had it! Now mine's gone too. It's okay, just breathe slowly. Try to release only when you feel its current passing in front of you. If your timing is true, it will manifest on three. One, two, three. I think I felt it. It tickles. Right there, you just did the hardest part. I'm sure your training will go well, but one more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that this is your life and... Erlina! Hmm. Since you are done onboarding our new recruits in the Ways of Magic, I will provide the briefing for your next assignment. As for the two of you, it's about time you try that sewing kit. Move along now. And making a magic piece of fabric worth of the very stars sure is a tall order. Yeah, I have no idea what shape to even make. At least the headmaster said we would get it right for the first time. Well, I'm bored. What are you doing? I'll just walk around a bit. Berlina, you keep saying that, but the Fleshmancer left our realm for good when the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? And you know the three of us can take the one on Wrath Island. We don't need them. Prudence, Erlina. There is no telling what threats we may face in the future. Valar and Zale were brought to Moon Crater by the Great Eagle. It is not the place of the Headmaster to question such things, and neither is it yours. So how much is enough? What about Moyara? What about the twins? Rugavs! Do not judge a sacrifice you cannot begin to comprehend. This conversation is over. They will study here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first eclipse after the training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can until then. But... Let's just go, Brew Games. Mm. And so they trained, and they sued for days, and then for months.
Fast now. Focus and then release. And the longer a dweller is left to his devices, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. Let one grow for too long and you have a world eater on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of solstice warriors would be helpless. Since delaying only increases the chances of a world eater, cleansing always targets the strongest dweller known to us. Headmaster, if dwellers are immune to our magic, how can we fight them? Ah, that is why cleansings are always performed during a total eclipse. In these moments only, the dwellers' weaknesses are exposed. How many dwellers are left? Just the one, known as the Dweller of Woe, but we cannot know for sure. The Flesh Master just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Thus, we must always remain vigilant. Headmaster? Yes, Valer. What happened with the Dweller of Strife, and who's Moyara? Hmm. That will be all for today. A few weeks later, a sound in the night. Valer, wake up! Say, what is it? I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What time is it? Who cares? Let's go check it out. All right. Hey, look! Oh, smells good! There's a note! <clears throat> Dear Valer and Sale, If you're reading this, it probably means I got caught. I'm writing this as a failsafe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with the celestial willow jam you like. Oh. Keep reading. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. Oops, now the platform is almost up and I can see Moraine is there waiting for me. He looks very angry. I will try to drop the jar without him noticing. I guess that means I won't be able to try a visit again. But I'm thinking of you every day and I can't wait. I hope you like the cookies. Your friend until the end of time. Gar. Girl's the best. Let's go up on the disc to eat the cookies. Got cookie jar. These cookies are amazing. I can't believe Girl was just there. I miss him so much. He seems well at least, at what happened in the Forbidden Cavern. Knowing him, I bet he smiled at the way the next day. Haha, <laughs> you're probably right. Can't let something like this happen ever again. This rate feels like we'll never do something good enough for the Elder Mist. It will happen, we just have to keep on training hard. And so they train and they sued for years. And then they train and they sued some more. Until one day. Mm -hmm. 
Zale, that's the one. I can feel it too. Hold on. All right, I think I got it too. Let's go see the headmaster. Just a bunch of old books. Headmaster, we think we're ready. Why, yes, the tingling of magic in there has been building up for a few weeks now. Congratulations! Moving forward, there will be no more sewing. I can deal with that. It will soon be time for you to leave on your journey to meet the Elder Mist. But before we get to that, Zenith Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, our visitor just arrived. Perfect timing. My, you've both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. Erlina and Brewgaves are here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them, then it will be time for your final test. Want to review combat basics? Yes. Let's get started. Just attack me now in any order. Use directional buttons to cycle through available characters. Harder members can use their turn in order. Their turn in the order of your choice. But they can only act once per round. When all of your party members are on cooldown, the round resets and they all become available again. Good! Focus is paramount whenever you perform attacks and skills. With proper timing, you can increase the damage that you deal and sometimes even score additional hits. Let's see it. Press A as the hit connects to increase damage. Good! Let's see that one more time. Ouch! Yeah, that's the gist of it. Most of your attacks and spells can be made more potent with proper timing. Some also keep going with more hits until you miss. And remember to think of timed hits as a welcome addition when you pull it off, rather than something you're supposed to do perfectly all the time. So don't worry about it too much, just keep on trying and your sense for it will develop over time. Okay. Now for timing your blocks. Let's get the little guy in here. To be efficient in battle, you must pay attention to anything that starts moving. Proper timing, you can reduce the damage of any incoming attack or spell by blocking. Get ready. Press A as the hit connects to reduce damage. That ah, was too soon. Stay focused and press as the hit connects. It can be difficult sometimes. Here, let me help you. Now. Good. Let's see that one more time. That's how you do it. Remember to always stay alert. Some patches will be harder to read than others. 
sometimes even requiring multiple blocks. But don't be too hard on yourself, no one is expected to block everything all the time. It's not about getting it perfectly all the time, but rather building a growing sense for it. Just think of a time block as a welcome bonus whenever you happen to pull it off. The key is remembering to read your enemies and to keep trying. Oh, one more thing. When a party member gets knocked out in battle, you'll need to switch to a more defensive mode. KO'd allies will get back up on their own at 50% HP once all the KO stars are gone. One KO star is moved at the end of each round. The more you fall during the same battle, the more KO stars there are, so be careful. If all party members go down, it's game over. Fight and survive until Zale returns. And there you have it! Good work today! I'm sure the exam will be a breeze! Ready to go through the basics of magic? Yes. When enemies prepare spells, you must do everything you can to prevent them. If you follow your senses, you can try dealing damage of the types that will break their concentration. Simple spells will only demand normal attacks. But Larry can do blunt damage and Zale has slicing. Let's see you break this one. Just like that. Now, some spells will also demand magic damage to break. You can control your projectiles now, so let's give it a shot. Sail for Sun and Valer for Moon. Moonerang. Lunar magic projectile that can bounce to multiple targets. Press A to deflect. Sunball, solar magic projectile that splashes to nearby targets. Hold A for power. Well done! Now you can sense your MP is a bit low, right? To keep up the pace in battle, you must remember to regenerate MP. Let's build it back up a bit. Hit me with a normal attack now. Did you feel that? You just got some MP back by attacking. In battle, awareness leads to victory. You must pace your spells with normal attacks to avoid ending up in a dire situation with no MP be able to get out of it. And on the flip side, you should not hesitate to use spells when MP abounds, for a regular attack on a full bar is a waste of regeneration. The key is to experiment, keep on varying your actions and find the rhythm appropriate for each battle. One last thing, all battle actions, lock breaking, especially build your combo energy. When you have enough, you can spend combo points for powerful actions. Combos cost no MP and are lost after battle, so you should never hesitate to use them. Ray told me you came up with your first combo attack, show it to me. Combo. Solstice Strike, dual attack. Each regenerate 3 MP. Yeah, you're strong alright. Keep an eye out. In your adventures, you're bound to come across scrolls that will teach you more combos. Good luck with the exam. I'm sure you'll do great. Moraine will see you to the final test. I'm sure you'll do great.
Are you ready for the final test then? We're ready. And let us begin. The big day has finally come. Over the years, Zenith Academy has tested you in many ways. It will now test you one last time. Have you prepared your vows? Yes, Headmaster. Then speak them now. You can first sail. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so that I may use my G agility to cleanse this world and protect my companions, I will enter the world as a blade dancer. I choose the curved blade as it will not hinder my speed or reflexes. Welcome, blade dancer. Come on, Valer. I did it, now it's your turn. <clears throat> so that I may use my strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil, I will become a battle bond. I chose the staff, it won't break no matter how hard I strike. Welcome, battle monk. Today, you must demonstrate mastery of everything Zenith Academy has taught you. Your final challenge awaits below. Please, step aside. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something to keep your health full. Taint 3 Tomato Club. Now. With faith in your abilities and purpose in your actions, take the leap and return as the new recruits of our order. I'm ready, Valer. Let's just go for it. Jar. Found one ornate stone. A weighted stone fits a brazier in Zenith. Academy. And one ornate stone.
haven't even been to the other side of Bin Cameron yet. How could they understand? So you don't think we should at least try and explain? You've seen how strong they are. Weird will be a walk in the park. Hmm. Let's see them off then. Exam mode engaged. Brace yourselves. And we will brace ourselves, but in the next part, we'll leave on a cliffhanger. Thank you all for following along in my Sea of Stars adventure. I hope you're having as much fun as I certainly am. I would love to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and if I saw you again in the next part. But for now, it's time to say bye bye.